Welcome to Average Joe's Gym's Home Projects, where we do projects and maintenance at home that even an average Joe can accomplish. In today's episode, we're going to build some custom wood frames for our medicine cabinets. We have three of them, and we decided we don't really care much for the ones that came with the mirrors. Let's do it. First things first, we use our trusty measuring tape to get the dimensions of our mirror frame. You don't need a whole lot of tools to get this project done, but a miter saw that you can change the angle to to make your cuts is definitely going to make life a lot easier. All your cuts are going to be 45 degrees because it's a rectangular shaped frame. We decided that we wanted our frame thickness to be 1x2. The proximity of the medicine cabinets to the wall made this width the widest we could really go and still get the medicine cabinet door to open without hitting it. I'm just making the measurements here and then lining up the saw to make the cuts. I just want to mention that in this part of the project, you're dealing with small pieces of wood and a miter saw. Please be very, very careful. No home project is worth losing a finger or cutting your arm or worse. As you've seen in previous woodworking projects that I've done on the channel, I like to take the pieces as I make them and bring them in and just test them out a little bit. Or just stack them together and see how they look. In this case I brought it back in and I wanted to make sure that the frame was going to fit properly over the other frame. Here's a bunch of high speed measuring and cutting that I put together for you guys. Because don't forget I'm making three different frames for three medicine cabinets. All equal size, so once I got one right, I just had to copy it for the other two. So here's four pieces completed, put together, just to get a look at it and show you guys how it's going to look in the end. Looks pretty good. Once you get all the cuts done, now's the part that I dislike the most, pretty much. Um, it's going to be the sanding. You just have to put in your headphones and just start spending the time. Use a low grit sandpaper to start and just knock off all the rough edges. Once you're done with that, you switch to a higher grit. I think I went as high as 120 on this one, uh, just to finish it off and make it nice and smooth. After the sanding was done, I went ahead and glued the pieces together to make the frames. It's just wood glue holding it all together. I put them on each end and then just pressed them together and left them on this butcher paper. After it dried overnight, it was time to do the staining. Luckily my wife is really good at this and she's done it on several of the projects if you go back and watch a lot of the episodes of my woodworking projects. I went ahead and passed it off to her because luckily she enjoys it and I would probably just mess it up if I tried it myself. Just keep in mind if you put your frames together the way I did with wood glue that you need to make sure that it has ample time to dry. It needs to harden as much as possible because if you get to work on staining it it could fall apart if it's not completely dry. You can throw a couple staples in the corners on the back side of your frame if you want but we went ahead and just gave it extra time to dry. One of my favorite things to do when she's working on stuff like this is to point out little things she's missed just so I can lean in and slap a kiss on her cheek. She likes to pretend that I'm annoying her when she's working on something, but check this out. Gotcha, honey. 
that's a smile. Now that all the staining's done and it's given ample time to dry, it's time to put on some polyurethane. My wife chose this polycrylic protective finish, which is ultra fast drying and also doesn't leave too much of a shine when it's all done, but will still protect the wood for the bathrooms and all the moisture that comes from showers and sinks. Once you finish one side and it dries, you flip it over and start on the other. As I've mentioned in previous projects, the finish work is always difficult for me. It's very time consuming and you have to really pay attention, especially with polyurethane. If you end up with bubbles in the finish, you're not going to have a smooth finish on your wood that you would like if you were a little more careful. Don't rush, just put some headphones in, listen to some music, or try to find your happy place while you do this part of the project. These are the brackets that we decided on to put on each corner of the frame. They'll give the frames a nice rustic look, but also they'll add some strength to each corner where the wood comes together. We decided the brackets would look better if they're black, so we laid them out on this butcher paper here with all the screws and spray painted them with black spray paint. We used this Rust-Oleum Paint Plus Primer spray paint. It should do the job of both priming and painting and make the brackets look exactly how we wanted. Once the paint was dry, I brought everything in and laid it out on the frames to get a look at how we are going to put it in. Then I drilled the pilot holes through the holes of the brackets so that I could put the screws in without splitting the wood. It's important to do this because the screws that are provided are just wood screws and it would be devastating to your soul to start sinking them in there at the corners of the frames and have the wood split on you. Take an extra few minutes and drill some pilot holes. Also remember, don't go too far. You don't want to drill all the way down through the bottom of the frame. Now that the pilot holes are in there, I went ahead and started with the screws. Excellent. Exactly how I planned it. All those screws went in nice and smooth and no cracks in the frames. I want to throw a little warning in there for everybody. Now once you've put the frames together and they've dried after you've done all the staining and all the polyurethane, they might twist a little on you. That's okay. As long as they're still attached at the edges and corners and then you've got the brackets in there, just realize that you're going to have to deal with a little bit of bow in the wood. That's one of the problems with dealing with natural products. As they dry, sometimes they start to twist. These frames made an attempt to twist a little bit, but using the product I did to attach them to the mirror frames, it made them nice and straight and held nicely. Here's that product right here. It's Gorilla Max Strength Construction Adhesive Clear. I made sure I read on the back that it said it would attach itself to glass. Some of these products won't, so make sure you check in advance. Word of advice, make sure you cut the hole big enough on the end of the applicator. It's pretty thick stuff and doesn't just come out easy. Okay, now that I've got the hole big enough, what I did was put a nice thick bead along the inside of the original frame. This is kind of a delicate process because if you put too much, it could work its way onto the glass and then you're going to have to try to wipe it up and clean it off before it dries. If you don't put enough, 
then the wood might not touch enough of the adhesive and hold itself to the mirror. Pay close attention along the top of the frame because it tends to want to drip down if you put too much. Once you've got adhesive all the way around the edge of the mirror, it's time to place the frame. Getting it on there nice and level is very important. I suggest using a small level that you can place on the inside of the frame while you're trying to make small adjustments. Also make sure you do a practice open and close of the medicine cabinet before you clamp it on and let it dry. Otherwise you may get a nice ugly surprise when you go to open the medicine cabinet and find that the frame hits the other wall. A couple compression clamps to hold the frame in place and a little bit of cleanup of dripping glue and you're all set. So here it is, a rustic wood frame for our old style medicine cabinets in our bathrooms. Here's a quick tour of the frames in our master bathroom, guest bathroom, and the kids bathroom. If you enjoyed this project, please check out our other projects on Average Joe's Gym's Home Projects. And please like and subscribe for future projects.